Today we're diving into the world of Western Australian seafood. Joining me is one of Perth's living legends to help teach me a new skill at Brown Street Grill. Jerry Fraser, you are the king of oysters and a local legend. Oh, thank you, Cassandra, <laughs> that's very kind. I've been around a long time. I've been doing it for 35 years here and there. And um, I don't know if I take the crown for that, but uh, thank you. So now I'm gonna show you the way I do it without any cloths or gloves. So we're gonna get in there and we're gonna be very gentle and we're just gonna pop it now. You hear the pop yeah. there? And we just raise it slightly and then I will run the blade across the top like that, nice and clean. And then all the juices are in there, as you can see. So that's part of the magic of eating oysters, is keeping that oyster liquor in there. And I will turn it over for presentation. Look at that. You make it look yeah. easy. You've done it before. And I've done a few of these before. <laughs> How would you eat it? Just like this, like that. <laughs> mm. I'm yep. gonna give it a go. Give it a go, but all take right. your time doing it, okay? Okay. Please. So in there, yeah, wiggle. Wiggle it. But not back and forth. That way. Back and forth. That way. Oh, it wasn't a pop. Was... Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. It was a okay. soft, a soft pop. Soft. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you want to cradle right. the oyster in your hand. Okay. All right, stick the blade further in. That's it. There, there you go. go. There okay. we go. There we go. Yeah, the there lid go. comes off nicely. Right. There you go. There. Use a knife, not like a pen. <laughs> That's what I normally do. No, no. Use it with authority. You're, okay. in, you're in charge. I'm in charge. Beautiful. There we go. There you go. Let me just move him down a little bit. Mm. Mm. Fresh out of the ocean. Beautiful. It is. That is so fresh. I am going to move into my comfort zone now as much as I enjoyed shocking my first oyster. So we're going to start off with bubbles because bubbles and oysters are a natural pairing. And this is the Petit Jeté from Howard Park. It's a Blanc de Blanc, which means it's made from 100% white grapes. It's so great. It's the perfect foil for that uber saltiness. It really makes the fruit in the wine taste a little bit softer, a little bit more fruit forward. Next up, Riesling. Specifically, we're looking at Franklin River Riesling, and this is from Franklin Estate. I, I do believe that Riesling is probably the best white wine to have with, uh, with oysters. They have the, the, the nice crispness, and they, they match oysters unbelievably with the, the saltiness of the ocean. Oh. Works well. You can see the smile on my face. <laughs> the last one I've brought is from LS Merchants. It's Margaret River Fruit, and it's a West Australian wine, but it's made with an Italian grape variety called Vermentino. This vineyard is really, really close to the ocean, which means you get a little bit of that salt spray, sea spray, and really bright acidity. I'm, uh, I'm not going to say no to another oyster. I can confirm it's a great pairing. Thank you so much, Jerry. Oh, thanks, Cassandra. I promise I'll go home and do my homework. Well, and, please uh, do. And I'll have a race with you next time. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs>